It's Kyle here, and uh, recently my channel reached 1,000 subscribers. I wanted to commemorate that in some way. I know a lot of YouTubers love doing uh, question and answer videos when they kind of reach milestones like that, so I thought it was uh, appropriate that I should do the same. So on the community tab of this channel and also the Facebook page for this channel, I uh, made some posts asking if anybody had any questions that they'd like me to answer for this video, and I got some good ones, so today I'll be answering that. Before I get into those, I just did want to remind anybody that if you're watching, non subscriber, uh, please subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Uh, reaching 1,000 subscribers was a goal for my channel for a long time. Um, I very much <laughs> do this as a hobby, so I just thought it would be neat to reach 1,000. I honestly never thought I would. So, reaching 1,000 meant a lot to me. So, one, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, and I really appreciate it. New subscribers to the channel as well, helping me stay above 1,000. And if you enjoy the video, please like it as well. I always appreciate the support. So with that out of the way, um, I wrote the questions down here. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, what fiction books are you currently reading? Um, so I'm not one. I know some people that are big readers like read multiple books at the same time. I've never been that way except when I was in college and I was having to read like multiple books for classes, and I also would read for pleasure. Uh, but I usually just read one book at a time. Um, so I actually am currently not reading a fiction book because I'm currently reading a non-fiction book, uh, A Bridge Too Far by Cornelius Ryan. I'm a little over halfway through. This book is uh, set in World War II and it's about Operation Market Garden. Um, it's very, very interesting. I probably will definitely be doing a review about this book um, on the channel once I finish it. But um, I do know what fiction book I am reading next. I thought I would highlight that. I'm reading a Star Wars book. Uh, Death Troopers by uh, Joe Schreiber. I've never read this book before. Um, I've always heard things about it and like it's a very different type of Star Wars book so I was always interested in reading it. So uh, I think a while back I've got a gift card to a local bookstore so I, I was trying to what to get. Um, it's like well, I've always thought about reading this one. Now that I have a gift card it's a good time to maybe pick this book up and check it out. So I'll be reading this probably um, late 2020, early 2021. So uh, um, I'm sure I'll probably do a review on this channel because almost every Star Wars book I do a read, I always do a video about it. So that's what I'm reading and currently um, getting ready to read next, I guess you could say. Um, next question is um, five favorites. Five actually, it was five or your ten favorite Star Wars characters. Um, this is actually the question I thought about the most. I was trying to figure out how to do it. And instead of doing like a traditional top five, instead I thought I'd do my favorite character from like each aspect of Star Wars. So like my favorite book character, my favorite character from the cartoon series, uh, favorite character from TV, which is currently just the Mandalorian um, show. And then uh, I thought for the movies I'd break it down and do uh, one for the prequels, one for the originals, and one for the newest ones. The standalones, I felt I didn't really feel like picking one out of those. I really loved Rogue One. Solo was okay, but there was nobody, no characters in Rogue One that I preferred over the characters from I'm going to highlight in the uh, the nine episodes. I decided to kind of set the standalone movies to the side for a moment. So uh, I guess first off I'll start with the cartoon series. I'm combining them all in one instead of doing a character for each one. And uh, I think it has to be Ahsoka. It, this was a fairly easy choice for me in regard to the cartoon series. Ahsoka was a clear cut winner for me. I'm super excited to see her on The Mandalorian and also that she has her own series coming. Um, Ahsoka is an amazing character and um, definitely by far an easy choice for my favorite character from the cartoon series. Uh, in regard to the movies, uh, from the prequels, I think I'll have to go with uh, Obi-Wan. Really loved Ewan McGregor's portrayal of Obi-Wan. Um, I'm not the biggest prequel fan, but there's never really a part with Obi-Wan that he's a reason I dislike it. I always really enjoy his aspects of the storyline. In fact, I wish they were more <laughs> leaning towards him than some of the other characters. So Obi-Wan's definitely my favorite prequel character. From the original trilogy, this was actually the hardest choice I had to figure out because I was really, I've always been very split between Han and Luke being my favorite from the original ones, but I think I'll have to go with uh, Han just a little bit just because you have, you add that extra sense of humor that Luke doesn't really have. So at least 
get all the action and adventure and character development with Han, but you also get with Luke, but then you also had a sense of humor in Luke. Usually is not bringing the sense of humor a whole lot, so I'll have to go with Han for my favorite character from the original trilogy. For the new um, uh, movies, I'll have to go with Rey. It was a fairly um, easy choice for me. I love Rey a lot. I thought she was an awesome character. So this was a pretty straightforward pick for me as well on Rey. If I, if I had to go with a, um, a second choice, it would probably be Poe, I would guess. But Rey was by far my favorite character in the new movies. Absolutely loved her character. And I left the books for last because uh, my favorite Star Wars character of all time is a book character, um, Grand Admiral Thrawn, uh, both in the old Legend books and now in the new Disney canon books. Of course, he finally appeared on the screen in the animated series Rebels. Love that. He was name-dropped in <laughs> the second season of Mandalorian. So I'm hoping we'll get to see some um, Grand Admiral Thrawn on a live-action show on Disney+, Plus because I absolutely love... Grad and Emerald from my favorite character by far. And when I was coming at this, that's one thing I found interesting. He's the only villain that I really put up there as one of my favorite characters. So it's, um, I found that kind of interesting because like I kind of more lean towards my favorite characters being the good guys, but, um, I really love Grand Animal Thrawn. The one aspect of Star Wars I have to leave out is the video games. I'm not a big video game person, so I can't really pick a character from the video game. So that one I'll have to plead, um, um, guilty on and not being a big fan and I just can't pick a character from that genre. I guess also the uh, uh, comic books. I've never really read any comic books as well. Um, next up, uh, Highlight of 2020. <laughs> this one can be a little bit challenging for a lot of people because obviously 2020 has not been the best year in the world. Uh, but for me, there was a clear-cut uh, Highlight for me. I was, uh, I've always had a big nerdy dream on being a part of a panel at Dragon Con, which is the big um, con in Atlanta. Um, it's also one of the biggest cons in the entire United States. Uh, Dragon Con has a reputation of being um, uh, probably maybe the best um, cosplay convention in the um, U.S. It's really well known for that. I mainly go for the panels. They have some great, great panels. And I've always thought it would be neat at some point to be on a panel. because They have a lot of panels that are driven by fans, necessarily always star-driven. So this year, um, not surprisingly, they did not have an in-person Dragon Con, but they did have a virtual uh, version of Dragon Con this year, and I was selected to be on a panel for the Star Wars track about the Mandalorian. It was specifically the culture of the Mandalorian, and we kind of looked at uh, how Mandalorian culture has been depicted throughout all Star Wars, and real-world comparisons to that and what we can learn from that and how it might be depicted in the Season 2 of The Mandalorian, which had it come out at that point. The one thing I'm, I'm very proud of our panel is a lot of predictions and our theories on Mandalorian culture came true in Season 2, so I was really happy that our panel, I think, did a really well, great job of thinking out our points and um, making some accurate predictions. Uh, so if you'd like to see that panel, if you just Google the culture of The Mandalorian, Dragon Con, um, it is on YouTube, that video will pop up, so feel free to check that out. But that was definitely my highlight of 2020, was getting to fulfill uh, a lifelong nerdy uh, dream of being a part of a panel at Dragon Con. So hopefully once Dragon Con is able to happen in person again, I'll actually be a, be a part of an in-person <laughs> panel at the convention. That would be amazing. Uh, next question, uh, dream for the channel. Uh, this one actually had a hard time because... Really the only big goal I've had for the channel for the last couple of years is I've been in like around the 800, 900 subscriber level. It's like, you know, it'd be really awesome if I could just get to a thousand. That seemed like a really cool milestone. Um, so I've reached that and uh, I don't really have another subscriber dream. You know, obviously it'd be neat to get higher numbers, but it took me so long to get a thousand and a thousand just always seemed like a good even number that in my mind, it doesn't even almost seem possible that I might be able to get to bigger numbers like, you know, 5,000, 10,000, whatever. Um, so instead, the thing that kind of popped to mind was having one of my videos kind of go semi-viral. I've only really had one video that um, kind of did that, and it's viral for like a small channel. Um, for a long time, my most viewed video on my channel was a video I did several years ago about my recommended order um, to read the old Star Wars legend books. And I think the last time I've looked, they had a little over 30,000. And a lot of those views happened in like a year or so. 
uh, never could be in public. So that's kind of the closest I've ever had a video like just going like wildly popular for my channel. Because most of my videos, I'm happy if I get like 100, 200, 300 views. Um, so I thought that would be something that would be neat to happen in maybe 21 is, you know, one of my videos, either old video simply game tracks or one of the new videos I post, you know, wake up in the morning, you know, check YouTube and like, oh wow, uh, a video I just posted last week suddenly got 5,000 views in the last day or something like that. That would be kind of neat just to kind of see a video and kind of hit a wider audience. So that would be, you know, if you ask me like one wish for the channel for 21, um, that would probably be that wish. And then the last question I got was um, a dream vacation. I've been seeing that question a lot of people asking a lot because like a lot of people, as they hope COVID starts to come to an end, like a lot of people are looking forward to maybe be able to travel again. And I've always had the same dream vacation for a long time. I've always wanted to go to Australia and New Zealand. It's, I've just always been um, very interested in going to those two countries. I think one, I like doing outdoorsy exploring nature on vacations so both those when you know going to australia you know seeing the outback uh, stuff like the great barrier reef the beautiful beaches new zealand is just actually a beautiful country i mean if anybody's watched the lord of the rings and you see the scenery that's in the background of that movie you know new zealand is absolutely beautiful so i think you know a dream vacation for me is like you know money's no limit i can go to you know, a month to six weeks and just explore Australia and New Zealand would be actually amazing. So that is my, um, I guess, my dream vacation. Um, so those are the questions I got. Thanks for everybody submitted questions. I might be doing these more in the future. I probably won't wait till I get to 2,000 videos because judging how long it took me to get 1,000. It might be 2030 before I did a 2,000 question and answer video. Um, so I might do those more often. Um, let me know in the comment section below, since this will be my last video I'll post in 2020, what are some things you'd like to see me do on the channel in 2021? I'm always looking to ideas. I'm trying to post as much as often. I've kind of set a kind of a goal to maybe try to do a, a video a week throughout the year. I've been doing that for 2020 now for about the past four or five months. I hope to continue to keep that going in 2021. Uh, it can be a challenge sometimes because I have a fairly uh, busy job that can kind of take a lot of time at some points. So, you know, there's a chance I might miss a week every once in a while if things just get crazy at work. I'm going to do my best to try to film a lot of videos when I can and kind of build up some videos so I can post throughout the year. So to do that, I need a lot of video ideas. So if you have anything that you'd like me to see featured on this channel in 2021, like I said earlier, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm always looking for great ideas. As I mentioned earlier, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. Now that I'm at 1,000, I just need to stay above 1,000. <laughs> Uh, so keep me above that thousand mark and um, thank you everybody that helped me reach that goal I'm so so uh, appreciative of all the support that people have gave this channel so thank you very much again hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you the next time